On our musical planet, only humans and songbirds have snagged front row seats to the art of song. For songbirds, it's not just about hitting high notes. Their vocal game is a full-on strategy to sway the bird crowd. Male songbirds? They're like the crooners of the avian world, singing their hearts out to impress the ladies and fend off rival dudes, especially when their testosterone is on the rise. Talk about bird swagger. Now, you might wonder, do birds belt out tunes just for the joy of it, or is it all about defending turf and scoring dates? Well, turns out our feathered friends are multi-dimensional vocalists. Scientific scoop? They sing for various reasons, from marking territory with bold anthems to having a chill session just for the joy of harmonizing. Some birds even drop complex tunes to chat with their avian buddies, almost like a political debate, but, you know, with feathers. And here's the encore. Research shows that birds have a vocal toolbox with different calls for different gigs. So next time you hear a bird sing, remember, it might be laying down a jam for love, territory, or just the pure joy of making musical feathered magic. Studies indicate that dopamine and opioids in specific brain regions play a role in bird song. Humans have similar rewarding brain mechanisms, and the profound impact of music on humans is intricately linked to our neurological and psychological makeup. The act of listening to music or engaging in musical expression triggers a cascade of rewarding mechanisms in the brain, underlining the universal and deeply ingrained nature of our affinity for music. Research by Stevenson and colleagues from University of Wisconsin-Madison strongly implicate opioids in gregarious song and suggests that endogenous opioids may facilitate song by influencing an individual's intrinsic reward state. Notably, in birds, the role of certain chemicals in singing varies based on whether the song is aimed at attracting females or is undirected. Accordingly, scientists propose that birds take pleasure in singing, even without direct rewards, indicating a pure enjoyment of the act itself. So, the neural mechanisms underlying basic emotions are conserved and show parallels across species. Surprisingly, there is a deep evolutionary similarity between birds and humans. Some animal welfare scientists even argue that animals should be considered as agents with positive and negative mental states, just like humans. So, these bird studies spill the tea on songbirds. They're basically the emotional divas of the animal world. Forget squeaky rodents. These birds are like the pop stars of the avian kingdom, rocking out with their learned and complex tunes. It's like they're hosting a bird karaoke night on their own Broadway stage. But here's the real plot twist. Their songs aren't just about feelings, they're like bird tinder bios, sharing details about health and wild pasts to impress the ladybirds. It's basically a feathery dating show set to music. So, next time you hear a bird's jam, imagine it's their way of saying, check out my sweet tweets of desire. So now we know that birds sing for a variety of reasons, and humans and songbirds share a surprising musical bond, bridging a vast evolutionary gap. Despite differences, a common rhythm unites us with these avian troubadours in nature's grand melody. Beyond science, songbirds' tunes inspire poets and artists, contributing to Earth's vibrant auditory tapestry from rainforests to urban parks, a reminder of the marvels in the natural world. There you have it, folks. Scientific evidence supporting the notion that our shared appreciation for music with birds transcends mere taste. It's intricately woven into our brains through the tapestry of evolution. If you found this revelation as captivating as I did, don't forget to hit the like button. And as we conclude, let's embrace the continuous melody of life by keeping the music playing. Until the next video, stay tuned.